Alright, good morning class. Good morning class. Good morning class. Now I want your utmost attention. When I want you to talk, I will ask you to talk. So now, what I want from the house is a perfect silence so that everybody will benefit from the lesson. Okay, so last class, we put an end, so to say, to the study of environmental assets. Next class, I will try as much as possible to put together to put together some questions for us that we jointly answer. So I will try and put the, those questions together against next class. So this morning we are going to a new topic entirely and the topic is resources from living things what did i say what did i say what did i say oh so while we are waiting for our team of engineers to help us to put on the gen. I will try and communicate from here. So resources from living things. Have you written that? Have you written that? Resources from living things. Resources from living things. All right. So, what are resources in our rights? What are resources? Resources. Resources are what nature? Resources. Are what nature has given to man. To use for his own good. I want to repeat that. Resources are what nature has given to man to use for his own good. That's the definition of resources. Resources are what nature has given to man to use for his own good. Full stop. You write on the next line that on the next line you write, we need plants and animals We need plants and animals not only to eat. We need plants and animals not only to eat. We need plants and animals not only to eat in order to live. We need plants and animals not only to eat in order to live, but for other things too. But for other things too. But for other things too. 
Full stop. From living things. From living things. From living things, in brackets, plants and animals. From living, living things, do not keep in brackets, plants and animals. What do you want to do to this one? To live. From where? To live. In order to live. In order to live, comma, but for other things too. You are talking there. You are talking there. And you are not even writing. I will come and meet you. Okay. <laughs> but for other things too. Full stop. We need plants and animals not only to eat in order to live, comma, but for other things too. But for other things too. Full stop. So, and I said, you now continue in the front. From living things, from living things. From living things, from living things, and you now open a bracket. Okay, I think that's an honor. You put plants and animals. So, coal, oil, gas, and other things have been formed. So, that means that the resources. That we need from in our environment are majorly formed from plants and animals. What do you say? Don't copy the note, just look at it. Okay. Yeah.
Just to that, in case you come out here. See your partner. See your right. You are the next person I will send to you. But I'm handing your phone. I'm handing your phone to pass you. Okay, so are we done with the definitions now? Uh, what we have said so far is that resources are what nations are given to man for its own use. Resources are go from two major sources. What are these sources? The two major sources where we get resources from plants and animals. Let's see them now one after the other. What? It's covering it. See our online friends, they are ready. Okay. I move on now. See now, our friends are saying we should change this slide. Okay, thank you. Resources from plants are identified. We can identify four major types of plant resources. These are food crop, crop for textiles, food crop, and medicinal crops. Um, let me see some of these, my friends that are online, my fantastic students that are online. I think they are, are they more fantastic than the ones that are here? Abdurrahman, let's nice see you. Okay, now let's go. Uh, online friends. Wow. Shako, what, Shako, I think I saw you in the class last week. Why are you now online today? Why do you not come physically today? Shako, why do you not come physically today? Reply. All right, let's disturb our brain a little bit. What's the meaning of I don't know? Better know Shako. Shako, I'm not taking this as an answer. Not an answer, Shako. That's not an answer. So are we to write? Yes, everybody writes. Okay, now, example of food crops. Don't stop my fantastic. Example of food crops, house, before we go to ask our friends online. Yeah, young man, what's our name? What's our name? 
Yes. Your name is my name. is Ablatif. Examples of food crops. Maize. Okay. Cassava. Beans. Rice. Granite. Okay. Thank you. Bro Latif is the one vibrating here. Okay. Let's go to our friends online. Examples of crop for textiles. The house is waiting. Friends online. Examples of crop for textiles. Wait, wait, we let them talk so that we don't leave them there. Gideon, we are waiting for you. Rama, Fawaz, Shako. Cat? Just guess who said fish. If, if I'm able to fish you out from this place. I don't know why you are using just guess. Please put your name. Latres Abrama Wow. Wheat no Gideon. We are done with food crops. Crop for textile. Textile. Crop that you use to make clothing. Wait, let's wait for somebody. Cut it. Thank you, Gideon. Okay, resource. I, I think we have written this. Food crops. You can see here that. Uh, okay, you can see now that people food crop Abdul Rahim. Food crop again has siblings. You can see the siblings of food crop. Here we have leafy vegetable. The vegetable that it is their leaf that you consume. Leaf or crop. You eat the leaf of okra. Hey, somebody just said they will do. Yeah, it will do. But what is the English name of it will do? The vegetable that you eat that leaf, eat lettuce, cabbage, talino, that's water leaf. You know, yeah, you know what I live. It grows everywhere around, especially during the rainy season. But I live. Okay, and you know fruits. We don't need to start expatiating so much on that. They provide the body with mineral salts and vitamins. Banana, you like it, I know. Pineapple, you like it. Gaba, yeah. Maybe not, not maybe not many like that, but some people like it. Yeah. Popo, yeah. Elawal, a fori roof. Okay. Um, Sister Shako, I hope you are copying your notes. And the third one that you are seeing on the screen. Uh, seeds. This one we may eat many of them as cooked food, e.g. 
beans, maize, millet, barley, and wheat. And they supply us with starch, fat, and protein. So these ones are grouped as seeds. Don't worry. Am I blocking you? Hold on, hold on, don't worry. Fantastic shakur. Yes. What? Yeah, that was how you are to be a replacement. That was to be a replacement. Eh? You drank water out of the stop and so you went. Water. I need you to stop the class. Do that. If I see time to leave here now, I suppose stop the class. You know what we see. What's your name? All right. Okay, now let's see this. What what is this? Example of what? Example of fifty-two. Look at this. Look at this one. Underground crops. I see it. 
You are done with this now. All right, all right, no problem. Grand cross are simply called they derive their name from what they are called. They are called underground cross because they grow under the ground. So don't think that some of you now you think that maybe we flock cassava. I know how many of you think that we flock cassava. I could do cassava, we flock it. Cassava. Is cassava flogged on a tree? Uh, where do you have first cassava? So those ones that grow under the ground are called underground crops, like cassava and carrots. Abraham. All right, move on. No, 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 you don't need that. You don't need that. Okay. I don't see that. All right. Thirteen of them are dead. The next, we have oil plants. Oil plants. They include oil palm, groundnut, cotton, coconut, and olive. Can I? Okay. Wait for our friend. He wants this. This young man. Hold on, hold on. Let's wait for him. Thank you. 
Okay, someone wants to quickly. Somebody said she wants to. If you saw. Probably this. All right. Someone requested for this online. Let's just wait. All right. I want to believe that by now it will happen. Okay. Oil plants. Oil plants are the next. Young man, I hope you are finished. finish with oil plants they produce we produce cooking oil from them oil and fish we are talking about plants we can get fish from oil but that's from the fish is sand. we can get oil from fish sorry he asked me to show. we can get oil from fish but we are still on plants we have not go to animals Understand, young man. All right. Not done. Senior Aji, have you finished? Let's go to the one for textile. Crop for textiles. There are crops that are used to make clothes, rope, baskets, and dyes. Your friends. Thank you. 
it's possible that maybe some of you don't know that dyes are obtained from plants. Dyes are obtained from plants. Black, blue, green, blah, blah, blah. That you used to dye your jean, your shoe. Then the materials used in making baskets are also from plants. I'm going to remove Abrahman now. I'm going to remove him. Sir, I want to remove Abrahman. So that will be that will be sanity in the online app. Uh -huh. I need to know who that man is. That is calling him. Okay. All right. Now, here we have said that for tester, maybe for clothes, for us, rope, basket, and for making dyes. So we want to move on. Oh, so <laughs> 
what do you have here? Senior Bessusi, Senior Bessusi. All right, we can move on. I only use for roofing and fencing. See the first have you completed your notes? Why? More? We are going to stop on the next slide. Uh, I can 
see our online. I thought she was around last week. Uh, what about Asan? Was she online last week? Yes. This week? You don't know yet. Okay. So to his pandemia meal. Our prayer want to eat pandemia. Okay. Young man, are you a Christian? Started from Genesis one. Started from Genesis one. Yes. Please look you. Your face looks new. You are not troublesome like All right. Now see example. Look at the full prop here now. Can you see them? So they can be used for furniture, for paper, and for roofing. No, this is not the next slide. This one is just picture. Now, so medicinal plants, that's where we stop today. Now, the plants that are used for medicine, you know the meaning of medicine. Now, this plant here, Senioraji, this plant. What is the name? Um, Alopera, what is it used for? You can also use it to treat wounds. Now, what about this one? What is this one for? This plant. This plant, what's it called? Ah. This plant is. This plant here is called Dongo Yaro. Let's listen because 
one house place abraham medicinal plants are plants that we can use as cure for indigestion to stop frequent stooling to heal wound and against many liver diseases or people now here we have aloe vera and like I said, Lumbuyaro. This one is used to treat malaria. You boil it and you don't drink it. They call it agro. What? Some people drink it. Hey, listen. Some ladies in normally meet with them. Hey, hello. The liquid inside the opera, they will it with that cream. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so the 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 this one. Yeah. Wait, this Wait. one is called I don't This one is called Dungu Yaru. But the English name is Nim. Hey, hello. How yeah. do people talking in this class? Tamara and Kuk. The English name is Nim. And -E -M. Okay, so just write this title Resources Resources from Animals. Let's enjoy my friend. Just write Resources from Animals. That's where we continue. Let's start. Okay, now let's listen to. Name, name, name. Somebody say can ask me. N E E M. Wait, George. N W E M. All right. Let's let's have been quiet now. I want to listen to. Yeah, our friends online, if you have a question, let's see your answer. Now, why? Yes, what's your question? Samad. Hello, go on, ask me. Hello. Hello. Hey, keep quiet. <laughs> Come on, you are on. Hello. Yes. Sir, can you explain former slide? Um, please, former slide. Can we explain? The former slide. Summer. Did this say former? former? Which former? former? We have a lot of. Do the number on um, what number, 13. number slide 13. Yeah, this good props hold on. Yeah, Samad, do you mean this? Yeah. Hello, Samad. Yeah. You mean this? Yeah. Stop. Ah, can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Yeah, that wood crops. Examples are Maogani, Ebony, Iroko, and so on. And they are used first, you can use them to make paper, you can use them to make furniture, you can use them to roof. Which one do you want? Raji, Raji, which one do you want? This particular one. Hey. 
sama ada series ya. Sir, can you hear me? Yes, yes, Gideon. So please, can you explain the um, slide 15? Slide? 15. One, five. Okay, medicinal plants. Yes, sir. This one. Medicinal plants are plants that are used to cure sicknesses and diseases. Okay? Yes, sir. So, you can use them to cure indigestion, for example, to stop frequent stooling, to ill wound, and against many diseases. So, yes, example, we now include this aloe vera and neem. That's the one that we know in our locality as Dongo Yaro. So, Dongo Yaro, if you have malaria, you can cook Dongo Yaro and you drink. Okay? okay? Sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Brogidio. Yeah, any other question again? Lawal. Hello, Lawal. Hello, yes, sir. Yeah. Sir, I don't, <coughs> sir, I don't understand you know, that Dungu Yaru plant. You don't understand which one? The Dungu Yaru tree. What? The tree. Tree. Okay, who plant? Crops. Yeah, what you say is that good crops are the crops that we use to make paper, to make furniture, and to roof our houses. Examples Hiroko, Maogani, Obeshe, Ebony, and so on are examples of good crops. Okay, sir. The timer, sorry, sir. I'm 